snap it off because you don't want to buy. Hey beauties, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and thank you for stepping back into Lee's world. So you guys, I have been feeling so out of the makeup loop for a while now. And also, I have just been feeling not myself lately at all. I think everything is just in light of what's going on in the world. It's been it's just been really hard to feel good about myself, feel good about um, making content and posting it. Um, it's just been a hard couple of weeks or so. But about a week ago, I had this day where I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do something for me. So I shut off all my apps, all my notifications, put my phone on do not disturb for an entire day, fast and quiet. You know, like not to say I was trying to shut off anything. It's just like my mind and my body needed to break away from feeling so overwhelmed. So with that day, I may or may not have spent about $320 on makeup but honestly I don't regret it because it felt good to do something that was for me and made me feel good no regrets <laughs> um, so in this video today I'm gonna be going over all of those products that I just recently purchased basically going to give you guys an updated version of like an everyday beat kind of because I know that I have one on my channel it was one of my like very first videos I'm gonna update that but also just kind of go through everything so let's go ahead and get this look started okay so my face is cleansed it has moisturizer on it and it even has sunscreen all right so we're gonna go straight into priming our face I usually use the Farsali Skin Tune Blur which I did re-up on when I went to Sephora but <laughs> that's not the primer we're gonna use today so I am going to really kind of like stretch myself out of my comfort zone right now with these products um, because I am going to be using some hydrating products which I'm usually afraid of because I have very oily skin hydrating products are actually good for us people with oily skin and that is because of the fact that if you put on all of those mattifying primers mattifying foundation mattifying setting spray mat like everything powder everything is just matte then your face is literally going to be like <coughs> sis where's the moisture okay and then it's going to start to produce its own oils and moisture trying to get hydrated again and that'll cause you to be oily on top of your makeup and then you'll be trying to find a paper towel blotting paper something to not be so oily or powdering your face and it'll just be so much so if, if you do incorporate some hydrating products into your regular makeup routine then you'll be good so I went ahead and I picked up the Fenty Beauty hydrating primer that just launched not too long ago and um, I've heard good things about this, especially from people with oily skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blot, I'll say two pumps on my hand there. And it's runny. I don't really like thick primer, so I'm glad it's a little runny. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my face. Oh my gosh, it has that Fenty smell. It just smells great. So this is actually gliding on my face really good. I kind of like it. Like it's super smooth and it kind of, dare I say, feels matte. Like, like how my mattifying products feel on my hands. Like, hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, Fenty. You know, I love Fenty, so I'm not even surprised. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. All right, so moving on to our next step, I am going to go ahead and do something else that is new to my makeup routine and a little bit out of my comfort zone. I am going to set my primer with a translucent powder. So I have seen this again. I've been doing research, y'all. I've been doing research, okay? But I have heard that this method works really well for people with oily skin again because it helps us control oil and shine. So like it doesn't dry out your face, but it's like oh, your makeup's going to last. Like your foundation's gonna last when you use translucent powder on with the primer. So the translucent powder that I picked up and I'm gonna be trying is the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Translucent Powder. So I do have the regular Laura Mercier powder and I use this to set my concealer. Um, but I 
have kind of always wanted to try the medium deep one but i never did because i was like is it gonna be too dark for me i know that the regular one is like white white and i know it doesn't leave any cast on my face so i don't know why i ever thought this one would but i don't know i was skeptical but i've gotten over that so i'm gonna go ahead and set the primer with this okay, so i'm gonna knock a little bit into the top And then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender. All right, so now I do feel like that translucent powder did give me a little color. Um, but I mean, I feel like it's fine because I'm going to put on my foundation anyway. All right, so the next step that I'm going to do is take a refreshing spray also from Princey Beauty. It is their new um, refreshing spray. It's called Baby Would It Do. And it can be used before makeup, during makeup, or even after the makeup process. And the reason why I'm gonna use it right now is because I did just go ahead and mattify my primer. I want that to make my foundation stay on longer and like have longevity of my makeup, but I don't wanna be like matte matte like we talked about in the beginning. Oh, ooh, tastes like lavender. It's like a mist. It's not like a, it's like a spray spray, like a ch ch mm. It's so light and fluffy. I could spray this all day. Fenty did, Fenty, Fenty, you did that. Riri, she always coming through for the girls. Riri always coming through for the girls. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Fenty Beauty. This is, I, listen, I'm not using all Fenty products, trust me. It's just, it's just some sprinkled in, okay? Some things I've been wanting to try. Anywho, so this is their new hydrating foundation. Um, I've heard really good things about this, especially for people with oily skin. So we're going to try this out. I got this in the color 330. Now, I have been using the color 350 my entire Fenty Beauty life, okay? And I really thought that was my color. Now, I did find it oxidizing, like, after so long in the wear. But I'm like, makeup usually does that anyway. So, like, it didn't really phase me. Um, but I tested some on myself. And I was like, oh, I'm a 330. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try out this foundation. So, I'm going to use, I'm going to use two pumps for now. I'm not gonna overdo it. Oh, a little bit goes a long way. Oh yeah, 330 was definitely my color. I think it looks a little light in the camera because of my lighting, but as I'm looking in my mirror, like 330 is my color. I don't know why I ever thought 350 was my color. All right guys, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because nothing about that routine has changed at all. If you guys are interested in how I fill in my brows, I do have a video on my channel about it. So the next step that we're gonna go into is color correcting. So I bought two new products on my little shopping spree for color correcting. So the first one is this Juvia's Place Magic Concealer. Now I have heard so many good things about Juvia's Place. I never brought myself to actually purchase anything from their company or their lines. And I didn't know that they were sold at Ulta. So I ended up getting the concealer in the shade 11. Then I went ahead and I also got a Fenty concealer in the shade 370. I'm going to be using these two to color correct, but I'm going to be using them in different ways. So I have an uneven skin tone. As you can see, I have like dark spots that happen to um, peek through. And then it's a little dark around my mouth area as well. I don't have too much of an uneven complexion, but I'm going to use these two to help me with the areas that I still do have the fancy one because it is a lighter undertone than the dubious place one i'm gonna use this one in the higher points of my face so such as this little area here on my cheek that is a little bit dark then these little areas here 
that are dark and on my forehead here where it's a little dark all right and then i'm going to take the juvia's place one like i said which is a little bit darker of an undertone and i'm going to use this to color correct around my mouth which is a, the lower part of my face I've heard so many good things about Juvia's Place on the subject of their coverage. So I heard that their concealer is like basically full coverage. You don't even need to purchase their foundation if you have this. And ultimately right now, proving everybody right that told me that because this is covering everything I ever wanted it to. All right, so now that I feel like I am one even tone, I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of that out. All right, so now I'm feeling a little bit better. Like I feel like I'm all one color. I feel like it actually did what I was hoping that everything was gonna do. So my next step is I am gonna go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to set all of my foundation, color correcting all of that jazz. Ooh, all of these mists just make a girl feel good. It's just like a Breath of fresh air. I had to pull out my bougie fan, girl, cause I just feel so, so refreshed. I had to bring myself back, hold on. Okay, so I didn't pick up any new concealer products or contour products in my shopping spree. So I'm gonna be using my regular products that I used to conceal, um, which is a combination of some of my Fenty concealers and also my LA Girl concealers. And then I always use the shade 470 from Fenty Beauty's um, concealers to contour. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that together. Set that with my Laura Mercier. As I said earlier, I used their normal one for concealing. And then we gonna come back and get into the rest. So now that I'm looking all powder, donut-y, and delicious, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dust off my um, setting powder with my all-over powder that I like to use. This is not one of my new pickups. Um, I've been using this for a while. This is my Fenty powder in the color Honey. Literally love this. And it smells awesome. Alright, so I'm going to get a little on my brush. And touch it it off because you don't want to buy then i'm just going to use that to dust off the powder all right and then i'm going to go in with my bronzer which is also not a new pickup but something that i love which is the fenty bronzer in the color caramel cutie and i'm just going to bring the warmth back to my face that i powdered off <laughs> basically all right so now she's good she's great so my normal routine at this point in my makeup because this is like the foundation of my makeup this is like everything else I put on it's just like enhancement to this so what I normally do in this step is I take my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray which looks like these I love this this is like my I love this, okay? I'm not even going. I just love this. But I want to continue giving the new stuff a chance. So I'm just going to go back in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm going to set it with this. All right. 
not too much okay so now i'm gonna get into my eye look so i have this eye look that i do pretty much all the time whenever i want to do like a natural beat no colors no like too much and i always use my sephora i love palette so sephora came out with these palettes like maybe like a year or two ago i immediately went out to get one because i always want something that i can travel with so this was definitely one that i picked up this one has like all neutral colors in it they're not overbearing and they go good with my skin tone so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna create my regular normal natural look and then we can go ahead and jump back into the rest of the new products like that those eyes honey get into those eyes yes now we came up into some fun okay it's gonna get real fun in here real quick okay blushes so i got three of the new fenty cream blushes and i'm excited i was so excited that i tried one already <laughs> so this is Frego Flush. It is number one. There are 10 blushes in the new blush collection. This one I tried out already. And honestly, like I'll probably wear this all the time because it is very sheer and it's like a blush and a highlight in one. So like I really could like use this when I'm trying to get a very, very natural look. Or if like I don't even really want to put on makeup. I just want a little a little pizzazz on my face you know so i would probably grab this a lot um i know it looks a little scary because it's like orange orange but all of these blushes are meant to be like super sheer and this one takes the cake so i'm actually not going to be trying this one in this video i want to go ahead and try the two that i haven't tried and that is um number six and number nine so number six is called daiquiri dip it is like their red and baby when i say red well i haven't seen it in person but on some videos i've watched and even on the fancy website it's red okay um but when it's blended out i have seen that it's so nice on my skin tone like it gives you a good blush color so let's see Oh yeah, baby's red, like like red lipstick, like red. I have heard that you can apply this with your fingers and it's really good when you want to blend it out to get that sheer look. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just going to dip my finger on in there, rub it around and add it straight to my cheekbones. Oh yeah, she's red, all right. Like red, red. <laughs> But I think once sheared out, this is going to be so nice. This, oh, it's like a pop of color, but it's not there. Oh my gosh. Fenty, Fenty, you have out Brianna. Oh my gosh. Like that started out red, like red. And it's like just, just a little, a little, a little, a little salt, a little salt sprinkle of color. It's literally like. Oh, and it brings out that cheekbone too. Oh, yes, Fancy. Y'all did that. I like that. I like her. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go in with number nine, which is in the color Cool Berry. Now, I haven't heard a lot of people really liking this shade. I think the only person that really liked the shade was Jackie Ina. And she's a darker skin tone than me, obviously. Um, but seeing this online, it just really looks so nice. I was like, I, I bet it would be nice on me too. I bet, I bet it. So this is like a mauve like, you know, so I think it'll give me a nice little, you know, like it is, but you know, a little darker because you know, that's red. And this is brown. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and try her and I'm using a different finger because this is the red finger. This is going to be the berry finger. All right. So let's go ahead and. Try her on for size. I like it. I like them both. 
Now I know I got two different cheeks, but I'm happy with it. Both of them look nice. It's so sheer, but it like still has color, you know? It really, really does. Like, it's like a look, it's like a, it's like, do I see purple or is that her face? And it's like, do I see red or is that her face? Look, I picked these colors out blind because they don't sell these in, in Sephora. So I had to get these like online, watch after watching reviews online. So I'm happy. I'm happy with all three. Put these right on my little shelf right here. Keep though. Yeah, y'all gonna. <laughs> hey, y'all. All right, you guys. Now I did go ahead and add a little bit of highlight and a little bit of eyeliner. That's not usually out of my normal routine. Um, so I didn't want to emphasize them that much because it wasn't one of my new pickups. But if you guys are interested, it is the ColourPop highlighter in the shade churro and then the fenty fine liner now i'm gonna move into one of my final steps and that is adding mascara so this is a milk makeup mascara in from their kush line so little fun fact i didn't know that milk cosmetics was vegan like i've heard of milk but i haven't really paid them much attention like that and I was very, very taken back by the fact that they're vegan. Didn't know that. I recently purchased Lip Bar Mascara because it is vegan as well. And it has really great products in it that won't irritate my eyes. But this one claims to do the same exact thing as that one. So I wanted to, you know, get a little variety. I still love that one, but I wanted to get a little variety and try this one as well. The reason why it is called the Kush Mascara is because it has cannabis oil in it. Cannabis oil is really good for like growth so they actually came up with an entire line that was vegan and called the kush line and i actually have another product from the line i'm going to show you guys in a second but um this is actually good for the growth of things and also the health of other things so i'm really excited to try this i got the little like travel size one because i didn't want to get a large one if i didn't like it all right so let's try this out okay y'all see the difference you can't even see my lashes over here Wow, okay. It's right here, okay. I like it, I like it, I like it. The last product in this little shopping spree haul makeup routine is this lip balm that I got from Milk Makeup as well. It is also in their Kush line and it is in the color Green Dragon. So this I've actually been using for like the week that I've had it and have been loving it ever since. So the one that I got, like I said, is called Green Dragon. And the reason why I like this one is because it has peppermint oil in it, hence the Green Dragon. Um, and it just makes my lips feel so minty, so good, and so hydrated. So this is what it looks like. And it is a balm, so it's not gonna like leave colors on my lips at all. It's just sheer lip balm. It literally just glides right on. And oh my God, the mintiness. Ooh. And I don't know this for certain, but I'm pretty sure the hydration comes from the cannabis oil. Pretty sure. Mm. My lips just got like an instant hydration. Instant. All right, you guys. So that's going to do it for all the products that I recently purchased and that I spent all my coins on. But I think it was worth it. What y'all think? Get into it. What y'all think? What y'all think? She is be. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe to my channel. If you like this content, come on back. Subscribe. Subscribe. Okay? Do it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.